Good afternoon. It's approximately 3.30 p.m. Uh, June 26, 2012, and I want to take a couple of minutes to talk about the potential for some severe thunderstorms uh, later during the day, Thursday, after the temperatures rise into the lower 100 degree reading, with uh, heat index potentially as high as 110 Thursday afternoon. Uh, what we're going to have in place is a capped air mass. That's a, a layer of warm air aloft, and even warmer uh, at the surface with temperatures up around 100 to as high as 105 degrees Thursday afternoon. Well, as we get an upper level disturbance to come across the area later Thursday evening, that will act as a cooling mechanism in the upper levels, not necessarily at the surface, but as the upper levels cool, that air will tend to rise and break the cap, and that could lead to explosive severe development Thursday evening as the cap breaks. So we do have the potential for some pretty good thunderstorms Thursday evening and then again this weekend as we get the kind of a ring of fire pattern to develop as the heat builds into the area and kind of, we'll be right on the uh, periphery of the hottest air which is where the thunderstorms tend to develop. So let's go to the next frame here. Uh, this is the RPM forecast model at 6 o'clock uh, Thursday evening and you can see uh, pretty good coverage thunderstorms moving into northern Illinois. Uh, in northwest Indiana. Uh, northern Illinois generally along and north of Interstate 80 and then across northwest Indiana uh, during the evening Thursday. Um, these show this particular model is never 100% accurate. This just gives you an idea of what the radar depiction may look like around 6 o'clock p.m. Um, so again there could be some scattered strong to potentially severe thunderstorms Thursday evening with the main threats being large hail and damaging winds when you, which you typically typically get with uh, super super cellular type thunderstorms the tornado threat does not look high because we're not going to have a lot of shear uh, but we are going to have plenty of forcing plenty of instability in place for some of these storms to become severe Thursday evening and and into early Friday with the potential and even overnight uh, Thursday uh, we can see a complex of thunderstorms move out of Iowa and it's in northern Illinois by uh, the wee hours in the morning and then in the northwest Indiana early Friday morning and that could contain some damaging winds. So we're going to have to monitor the next several days as we get this heat and the cap potentially breaking which again when you get this kind of heat and the humidity that we're expected with dew points well into the 60s, possibly around 70 degrees. You get plenty of instability with cape values around four or five, even 6,000 joules per kilogram in some cases. Uh, that This instability can lead to some pretty vigorous thunderstorm development. So, heads up on that. Okay, and thirdly, we got weekend thunderstorm threat. Clusters of showers and thunderstorms through the weekend. Localized heavy rainfall is possible. So, we are getting increased thunderstorm potential uh, off the models for the weekend. Uh, that's not a bad thing. Uh, we need the rain really bad. We're down uh, several inches of rain and we're getting very dry around here. So we're needing some rain to recharge the soils. This is not going to, most likely not going to bust the drought in most areas, but it will definitely help with the situation, uh, especially for the 4th of July. This is good news because there's a lot of fireworks that will be going off on the 4th of July. And if we don't get any rain before then, it's going to be very dangerous uh, with all the dry brush and dry grass around the area that could potentially cause fires. But if we get the rain we're expecting, we shouldn't have too much of a problem with that. And lastly, I want to give you an idea how much rain may fall. This is the estimated rainfall through 6 p.m. Saturday. Uh, this doesn't include uh, late Saturday into Sunday potential convective complex. This is just, uh, again, through Saturday evening. Uh, you can see uh, uh, right here, Portage, this is where this is depicted on around an inch and a half of rain possible, a little bit over. Chicagoland, 1.6 inches further west, a little bit more as you get a bullet there across the western suburbs of Chicago up to an inch, or 1.8 inches. This is not 100% uh, accurate either. This just depicts general rainfall coverage of which areas may see the most rainfall. And again, it's generally that corridor across northern Illinois along and north of Interstate 80 and then across uh, far northwest Indiana. Again, here Lake Porter Counties, we could be in the bullet, uh, which is good news because we're pretty dry, uh, along with all areas of northern Illinois and northern Indiana, which need the rain pretty bad as well. So uh, this just depicts uh, general rainfall coverage. Um, some areas might not get that much. Other areas might get quite a bit more. It just depends on whether you get under sustained thunderstorms or they train across your area or whether you just get one or two. Uh, so... We'll have to see how that works out, but it looks like uh, some good news in the rainfall department. Uh, maybe not so good with the heat and humidity, so take it easy this weekend. Um, 
that's all I have. Forecast information could change at a later time, so be sure to check back for later updates.